Josiah felt his pulse racing. He knew exactly why the officer was in his house. Did he know about his secret? Did he know about what he had raised from the waters 27 years ago? He felt backed into a corner that he couldn't get out of. But before he could act on any of his impulses, the officer opened his mouth and said something that he could never have expected. Before we start, can we get this video to 1,000 likes? Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Jizza Wilfred was an ordinary man. He lived alone by choice. Most people needed social interaction, but Jizza preferred to keep to himself. He liked the small things in life that made the difference. He had the same old routine. As a retired man, he would wake up every morning, take his dog for a walk, and work on one of the many projects that he kept in his shed. But one of them would catch the eye of the FBI. Jiza had worked as an engineer for 30 years before he retired at the age of 55. The now 60-year-old was enjoying the retired life and enjoyed tinkering with anything he could get his hands on. He felt confident that he knew what he was doing when he worked on projects. He was one of the best and brightest engineers before he retired. But one of his projects took things too far. When Jizza was younger, a hobby besides tinkering was diving. He got his diving permit at a young age and would always chase the idea of finding something special. Then he heard about a tip just off the coast of Georgia. He decided to investigate the rumors about what was buried in the waters. But when he geared up and dove into the water, he had no idea how true they were. Asia geared up and dove into the cold waters of Wausau Sound. He dove down deep into the waters and looked around. After a while, without seeing anything, he was close to giving up. But just as he was ready to swim back to the surface, he saw something man-made half-buried on the seafloor. He couldn't believe what he was looking at. He knew it would be his greatest challenge and project. Jizah knew a few people who could help him. Without alerting the authorities, he raised the metal object from the shallow waters under cover of night and loaded it into his truck. He managed to get it back to his home, where he could get a better look at it. He couldn't believe his luck, he knew it was dangerous, but he liked the challenge it afforded him. But he had no idea who would knock on his door 27 years later. The object that he had fished out of the water afforded him free electricity for the last 27 years. He smiled in satisfaction, knowing that very few people could have hooked up the device safely the way he had. Most people would have alerted the authorities and let the government take it away, but he found it fair and square and he would benefit from it rather than anyone else. He knew if anyone found out about where his power came from, he could be gone in. So he had kept his project in his shed. No one ever went in there, and he almost never had guests, so it worked out. Now at the age of 60, Josiah thought he had gotten away with it, but he had no idea that his actions would have consequences, and he'd get a surprise visit from an unexpected visitor. One day, Jazad woke up and got into his usual routine. He put on a pot of coffee, got dressed, and took his dog out for a walk. He normally took him around the neighborhood for an hour. It was one of the one things he loved, but he had no idea at that moment that his past was catching up with him. When he got back to his house, he barely had a moment to sit down before he heard a knock on his door. Jazad didn't often have guests, so he knew that it would be trouble. He prepared himself and opened his door a crack. It was a police officer. The officer said, Morning, sir. Could I ask you a few questions? Despite what he had done, Jiza respected law enforcement officers. Of course, officer. But he had no idea what the man had up his sleeve. Jiza felt his pulse racing. He knew exactly why the officer was in his house. Did he know about his secret? Did he know about what he had raised from the waters 27 years ago? He felt backed into a corner that he couldn't get out of. But before he could act on any of his impulses, the officer opened his mouth and said something that he could never have expected. The officer asked, Sir, are you in possession of any government property? Jiza knew that the jig was up. He knew that the only way to get out of it was to come clean. He confessed what he had. The officer's eyes grew wide. It was clear that he didn't want to believe what he had. It was above his pay grade. He had to call in the big guns. After an hour, the house was surrounded by the FBI. They searched his property and found the secret that he had been keeping for so many years. It was an undetonated bomb. To be exact, it was a nuclear bomb from the 60s. The bomb was on board a military aircraft. 
After it started having engine troubles, the pilot was forced to drop his payload into the shallow waters of Wausau Sound. The military made the call to try and recover the bomb for the next two months after it was dropped. It seemed that luck wasn't on their side, and it became the last nuclear bomb that the military ever lost. It seems that Jizya was both lucky and unlucky to find the bomb when the military couldn't. What he thought was his right to find was something that the government thought differently about. They would raid Jizya's house and get an expert team to remove the bomb from his property. They took it away and presumably dismantled it. But what happened to Jizya? There have been no reports on whether or not Jizya had to pay a fine or faced any consequences of any kind. Normally, someone would be arrested, but it's not surprising since the government would rather keep things like that classified.